Good morning one and all. Whilst I've got some time on my hands this morning I thought I would do a video just covering a little bit more in depth on the uh, quantum method combined with the Murray, lap, Murray math levels to give you a little bit more of an advantage of where to enter and where to exit. Now what we're looking at here is the one minute chart for the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. It's my preferred pair to trade with during the Asian session which I do have a slight advantage being the fact that it's during my daytime. I start it from 9 o'clock in the morning until roughly 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and depending on how many trades I take I'll either just take the first step that appear or I feel I can get a little bit more from it I will go the other way as well. So at the moment you can see here uh, there's been building of some short positions here with several boxes uh, just to note on my one minute chart these are set to a quantum of 275 which simply means it's looking back 275 candles to look for the previous high or low and then it will identify the boxes based on that. Uh, we do have some news coming up in about 16 minutes time uh, for local US data, uh, sorry Australian data. It's not that high impact so I'm more than happy to hold the trades into that and what I just want to show you if we look to the one hour chart on the Australian dollar you can see it's been in somewhat of a downtrend so taking the shorts is uh, essentially going with the bigger trends but when you're on a one minute time frame that can get a little bit skewed because you can have quite a big up move while still within the uh, the downtrend of the overall bigger picture. What I'd be looking to do is currently price is at 74.72 I'd be more than happy to let price go all the way up to probably about the 75 handle I think would be my threshold and naturally as this is going to go higher price would be allowing me to enter more and more positions. If it got past this point here I'd more than likely stop taking entries to allow it to define a new range for me. So let me just flick back to the one minute chart. You can see here it's provided one, two, three, four, five, six, seven entries. I haven't taken all seven simply because these two here for example they're within point one of a pip. To me there's no point doubling up your entry on something that is so close. I always try and leave at least half a pip to one pip gap before adding another entry. So that's just my preferred method. It's entirely up to you what you prefer. If you want to take every single uh, entry as they occur then you are more than happy to do so. It's just about finding the right balance as to what you're comfortable doing. Obviously the more entries you take the more possibility you have of building a position and then obviously you have to then worry about your drawdown. So for me I prefer to take slightly fewer trades and just space them out a little bit more. So at the moment we can see price is being held by the 74.77 level which is the major support resistance level of the Murray maths and as I say I'm more than happy if we just zoom out a little bit. If price does want to go higher I'll be more than happy to keep accepting trades all up to this point and then I'll reevaluate from there. At the moment I've got my exit set to just below here about 74.60 would be a nice exit based on my current trades and we'll uh, leave it there and we'll hopefully revisit it in the forum a little bit later today once a result has been found. So just to recap, quantum method incredibly useful, very easy to use. There is a robot that you can use to use for your entries which I like to do and it can also exit the trades as well but I prefer just to exit and manually control my trades myself. This gives me a little bit more scope to manage the trades myself. Uh, any questions, please let me know and don't forget to visit the forum. There is a new live trading chat room. Thanks very much.